Open the valve in the cylinder oil supply line. Switch on the electrical power supply. Start both oil supply pumps and check that they are able to run simultaneously. Check that the pressure drop indicator for the pressure filter is green. Also check that the hands on the pressure drop gauges for both suction filters are in the green area. Check that the oil pressure is between 40 and 50 bar. Press the pre-lubrication button on the operating panel and check each of the feedback indicators to confirm that all lubricators are functioning properly. Set both pumps to remote control. The lubricating system is now ready for operation. When the auxiliary blowers are started up, the lubricating system will automatically start and carry out the pre-lubrication process. If the engine is not started up within a certain period of time, the lubricating system will return to the standby mode and then start automatically when the engine is started. Check that one of the pumps starts automatically when the engine starts and that no alarms have been activated. Check that the pressure builds up to 40 to 50 bar and check each of the feedback indicators to confirm that all lubricators are functioning properly. Check that the oil temperature is between 40 and 60 degrees centigrade. Check that there are no leakages in the system. Check that the pressure is between 40 and 50 bar. Check each of the feedback indicators to confirm that all lubricators are functioning properly. Feel the lubricating pipe for pressure surges the presence of which indicate that the lubricating points are being supplied with oil. Make regular checks, for instance in connection with the scavenge port inspections, that each lubricating point is functioning correctly. Start the lubricating system and press the pre-lubrication button to inject oil into the engine cylinders. Use a mirror inserted through the scavenge port to check all lubricating points. Regularly measure the cylinder oil consumption via the cylinder oil tank and use these measurements to calculate the cylinder oil feed rate. Once a good cylinder condition has been obtained, with well-running cylinder liners and piston rings, the good condition can in most cases be sustained by employing the basic setting to ensure the correct cylinder oil feed rate. The basic setting corresponds to the reading 100% on the operating panel. When running in cylinder liners or piston rings, or in the event that abnormal cylinder conditions are detected during one of the regular scavenge port inspections, the feed rate of the relevant cylinders may have to be adjusted. See Instruction Book, Volume 1, Operation, Chapter 707. The feed rate of an individual cylinder can be adjusted via the operating panel. Press Setup and Enter simultaneously to enter the setup mode. Press Setup to display the current feed rate setting. 
press the up or down buttons to change the feed rate to the desired value. Press enter to save the new value. Press setup and then the up or down buttons to repeat this sequence for another cylinder or press enter to exit the setup mode. Before starting any disassembling work, stop the engine, shut off the starting air distributor, block the main starting valve, engage the turning gear, open the indicator cocks, and switch off the electrical power supply to the pump station. Note it is not necessary to stop the engine and pump station if the lubricator unit is fitted with two lubricators for each cylinder. See Instruction Book, Volume 2, Procedure 903. In the event that a lubricator malfunction activates the engine slowdown function, the lubricator can be replaced without stopping the engine, provided that lubrication is re-established within a maximum of 15 minutes. Close the supply valve and then open the equalizing valve by turning both handles to a horizontal position. Loosen and remove the screws from the cover with the lubricating pipes. Remove the screws that secure the lubricator to the hydraulic block. Disconnect the electrical plug and remove the lubricator. Secure the lubricator in a bench vise with soft jaws. Unscrew the oil accumulator and the adjusting screw. And remove the bushing. Discard the o-ring from the adjusting screw. Remove the screws that secure the cylinder block to the housing and remove the cylinder block. Discard the O-ring from the cylinder block. Remove the spring and the actuator piston and remove the plungers. <laughs> 